and have fun. I won't leave you. Promise. Oh, bless my heart. I can't wait until the little fella and I can finally come home. I just saw him in the nursery and he looks so small. Yeah, well, babies are like that. <laughs> you were once like that too, you know. No way. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. How's Ray? You two getting along? Sort of. I really need your help on this, babe. Ray's been through a lot, and I haven't been there to help him. Can I count on you to be there for him? Will you do that for me? I'll try. Uh-huh. Yeah, you promise. Cross my heart. That's my girl. <laughs> so, Kelly, how's your stomach feel? Okay, I guess. I don't think you're going to have any more trouble with it. Is my mom really going to be okay? Yeah, yeah, I think she's going to be just fine. Oh, <laughs> surprise! Happy birthday, Uncle Bill. Special card. I made it in art class. Okay, Maggie. Haven't you got any homework to do? I'll help you with it. But Julie always helps me with my homework when she's here. Oh, but your sister's home now. Why don't you... No, no. If that's what she's used to. Okay. Let's hit the books. You know that math homework you helped me with? I got a 96. He's here. Okay, honey, put that away. Mag, fix the pillows. Hi. Hi, Dad. Hi. Why'd you hear what? I got dough in it at work. Dumb, huh? <laughs> hey, Pete, come here. Maggie? Now, who has always wanted that, huh? <laughs> and who has been waiting for the story of uh, that mermaid? Me! <laughs> and uh, this is for us for later. What are we supposed to do with them? Almost forgot. <laughs> It's a VCR. Can we plug it in? Well, well just a second. Oh, everybody, take it easy. Pop, there's no floor. It's just dirt. Well. <laughs> but he can't be gone. I'll never see him again. I didn't even get to say goodbye. <laughs> it's just us now. We wouldn't want that. Are you nervous? Just excited. Hi, Mrs. Taylor? Yes, are you Lieutenant Holden? No, Stephanie had to leave town. She went to England to help with their guards. But I'm Summer. You must be Lauren. Hi. Hi. Here, let me get your bags. Oh, no thanks. I can carry it. OK. Are parents allowed to stay and watch? No, not usually. But if you really like. Mom, just drop me off, please. I don't want to be different. All right. But don't overdo it. Don't worry. Lauren, the locker room's straight up the stairs. If you just go on up there, guard, I'll show you what to do. Thanks. Good luck. See you later. Just 
just love the way compasses work. You can never get lost when you have one. Lauren, hi. How's your allergy? Not so good. Well, there's something you can take for it, isn't there? Not really. Well, what I mean is you can still do junior guards, can't you? My mom's in with your dad now. Today's my last day. What? That's not fair. And that's only because today's all classroom work. I didn't even get to surf ski or ride a wave runner. Let's do it then. What? Ride a wave runner. There's a place I'm going to take you anyway. What kind of place? A special place. But we have to get there before sunset. Okay, Obi-Wan, take me there. Princess Lauren, my rescuer. Obi-Wan, you okay? Yeah, it was just an allergic reaction. Kind of like yours, I guess. <sighs> Obi. I have to go away. Can't you stay a little longer? Thank you for taking me to Lover's Cove. I'll never forget it. I'll never forget you. Lauren, wait. I wanted to give you something. Kind of to guide you. Wherever you go. Memories are forever, Hobie. Remember me forever, okay? I'll take this with me everywhere. Hold it! Hold it! Who? Who are you? Nobody. Just us. He's Tom, and I'm Jerry. Oh, I thought you were somebody else. I thought you were following me. Heck no. Well, then what are you doing out here? We're lost, and we're looking for something to eat. Yeah, we're kind of hungry. Oh, well, um, I've got cookies and an apple and... So, your name's Robin, and you ran away from home. How did you know? Your name's on your locket. Oh, yes, it's Robin Starling. I'm afraid I don't have a home anymore. I... I'm an orphan. My mother died when I was a baby. What about your father? What happened to him? My father's on an expedition climbing a mountain when the snow gave way in, in a... Av... Av... Uh... Avalanche? Uh-huh. And he was the most wonderful father in the world. We had our own secret place just for the two of us. And... And that's where you were going? Uh-huh. And to get away from my Aunt Fig. She's not really my aunt, just my guardian. But she's taken over the house. She moved me into the attic and gave my room to her dog, Ferdinand. Ferdinand? Aunt Fig was always calling me orphan. She even stole my locket and threw it out the window. But I climbed out and found it and... and... Kept on running. As fast as I could. And I'm never going back. Oh, smart. Real smart, kid. You got a roof over your head, three short meals a day, a warm bed. Who'd want to leave that? I hate to admit it, Robin, but Tom's right. You never know what you're missing until you don't have it. You don't know Aunt Fig. She seems sweet, but underneath she's mean. Real mean. Ah, oh, come on. I'll bet she's frantic looking for you. Oh, sure. She's crying her eyes out for you right this minute. I'm gonna get wasted. Why don't you get real? I've got a better idea. Why don't you get lost? I'd like to buy a gallon of your, uh, heart. Oh, with me and Cora tonight? Sure. That'd be great. All right, Cora. We just got ourselves a double date. What do you say? You go. <laughs> a great movie. How was the one you guys saw? Nice, but we missed you. Oh, hey, I was just one theater over. You know, that's the beauty of multiplexes. And it's not like we're going to do a lot of talking during the movie anyway, right? Well, there are other things we could have done. 
could all shut off. Let's not live in the past. So, here we are at the doorstep. Boring, you said that three times already. I just can't get over it. I mean, a door, a step, it's a doorstep. It's just a perfect word. I mean, some words are so bogus. Window, what's that all about? Kiss me. Really? Just like that? Well, yeah. Don't you want it? Corey, I'd like to see you again. How about tonight? Sounds great. You know, any other guy would have kissed me. But you didn't. I like that. <clears throat> well, it was nice being in the same theater with you. Maybe next time we'll be in the same row. Hey, I had to move. I mean, you don't want to ask a guy to take his turban off. So, being our second date and all, it seems only natural that we should take the next step and... Meet your parents. <laughs> Everybody decent? Corey. Melissa. I wasn't myself tonight, and last night, I mean, who was that? But right now I know there are sparks between us. I know. And I think we should just see what we got here. Oh, yes. Nothing. Oh, well. It's in school. My best your folks. <laughs> folks. I've got to get here at noon, Mom. Right at noon, exactly. Or else Nicole's gonna get here first and hog the bars like she usually does. It's smaller. It's different from last time. Everything's different since last time, man. Let's go. So that's what this family is. TJ! TJ, where are you? TJ, I need your help, please. Hi guys, you just get here? Yeah. My parents went looking for a supermarket. Anyone want to find a mall? Guess what? Shelly Kramer is out. What? What? She was doing backflips on the beam without a spotter. And she fell and tore a tendon. <sighs> That's too bad. I know, but last time she beat you out of second place. Now it looks like you'll get there and I'll have a shot at third. But Nicole's still in first. Poor Shelly. You know what could happen to any of us. Hey, what's up? Where's DJ? In the bathroom. Hey, hey what's up? He's a skateboard kid. You want to go? Mom, can I? My mom's taking all nobodies, Miss Brown. Dylan, I wish you kids wouldn't call each other that. Why? That's what they are. Nobody. I didn't think so. Subject closed. <sighs> yes, honey, you can go. Just be back by six to have dinner with your sister. Yes! yes. Oh, we're going to the bus. She tore a tendon. I can't believe you guys. I'll be at the mall. You need some help? Oh, no, thanks. That's Nadia. And that Connor. Wow. <laughs> No, I'm not kidding, Oliver. I'm standing 20 feet away from two Olympic champions who just finished interviewing Nicole and totally ignored Rebecca. I mean, she has a shot. Why aren't they interviewing Rebecca? Hold on, hold on. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, please. Hi, I'm Rebecca Browner's mother. Oh, Rebecca, yes, she's a very talented young lady. Thank you. Well, I have our publicist on the phone, and I think you need to talk to him. Oh, do I? Good, I just love to talk to publicists. Hello. This is the KBHX sports segment producer. And if you're going to tell me how to do my job, I'd rather not waste your time. Now, how may I help you?
That was great. Don't you think it's time you took a break? I didn't get the landing exactly right. I want to do it again. Everything was perfect. The only thing that was missing was a smile. This is just practice. Smiles are for competition. Come on. This endorsement means nothing to you. It pays for her training. We'd barely scrape by otherwise. Well, she'd have to quit. Not good enough? That little girl works her heart out. She'll catch Nicole. You just watch. They're going to be hanging the gold medal around her neck at the next Olympics. And if you don't want to be there for it, then some other company will be. Fine. We'll find another training sponsor. Look, um, could we just keep the logo on the outfit, please, until we find somebody else? I don't want us to look like losers with no backing, you know, what an impact that can have. It's not always easy to stay concentrated, is it? I'm concentrating. Outside pressures can be terrible distractions. And distractions can lead to mistakes, which can lead to injuries. I have to practice. I have to get this right. for a walk. A walk? You were supposed to be here. I told you to be here. Mom, I'm sorry. You're sorry? I had these guys ready to hand you a contract. And no, you had to go for a walk. Sorry, Mom. Maybe you can call them or something. It's too late. It's too late. I'll meet you back at the hotel. I gotta go track down your brother. Actually, I think you should go for more walks. Ask your friends, Christy and Nicole. You know, you all should get out and breathe some fresh air. I went home. Home? We used to live a few miles away from here. Before my dad died. He had cancer. I'm sorry. She made us move out the next day, practically. One day, we're a family in a house. The next, we're these nomads living in motels. I kept telling myself we were just on a long road trip to some out-of-state meeting. When we got back, Daddy would be there waiting for us. But he wasn't. You first.
You remember when all you cared about was having fun? That was so long ago. It's never too late to feel that way again. kicked out. Come on, guys. Leave the kids alone. TJ! TJ, come in and put your helmet on! TJ! He's gonna do it! He's going for it! He's going for it. Your brother has suffered a very severe concussion. Are you a doctor? No, no, honey. Um, Andrew's a friend of TJ's. Rebecca's the strong one in the family. She never falls apart. She never falls down. Why don't you go get something to eat? I'll watch TJ. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll be back in a while. I think I'm gonna go for a little walk. TJ, I went to the house. It looks so sad. It didn't seem like anyone ever lived there. But then I saw the garage door. Remember how Dad used to make those marks every time we grew? Remember what he always used to say? Hey, I don't like that joke about the nobodies. You're somebody to me, TJ. I promise I'll be a better sister from now on. Mom, you okay? Rebecca, listen to me. You know I've never missed one of your competitions. But I can't be there tomorrow. I have to be here with TJ. I know, Mom. And I promise I'll do my best. I'll win for TJ. No, don't do it for TJ. And don't do it for me. Don't do it at all unless it's what you want. I mean it, Rebecca. I want what's best for you. For you. It's your decision, honey. Truth. Don't fall. This balance beam is going to be Rebecca's moment of truth. She starts with a beautiful mount, rest with instant. Boy, you can just feel the tension in the gym. 
her, her lip series. This is her most critical sequence right here. Well, you did. You slipped and you fell. Now stand up. It's too late. I lost. It's not the winning or the losing, but the getting up that counts. Isn't that what your father always said? How did you know that? He told me. What? I'm an angel, Rebecca. And God sent me to be here with you when you fell. Why would an angel be here when I fall? But can you think of a better time for an angel to turn up? People tend to see things from a better perspective down there. What's going to happen to TJ? Is he going to be all right? I don't know if TJ's going to live, but I do know that he will be all right. Everyone has to get up and go on every day, not knowing if they're going to win or if the people that they love will be beside them tomorrow. But one thing is always for certain. No one is ever alone. And you won't be alone in that bar. Where is everybody? They're here, waiting. Waiting for you to get up. Even your competitors want you to because they're your friends. But take all the time you need to decide. Personally, I think that you should. God thinks that you should. Your father thinks that you should. Choice is yours. How do you know my father thinks I should? Peter is very proud of you. <laughs> He's dead. He's in the presence of God, and so are you. God loves you, little one. And he gave you a father, a good, kind father, not for a long time, but for enough time. Time enough for him to teach you and your brother what you need not to win, but to grow. He taught you to be the best that you can be. To live, to play, and to love with all your heart and soul. And then I didn't. When it mattered most, I didn't. When Daddy was dying, I was scared. And the sicker he got, the scarer I got, the more I stayed away and practiced instead. I just kept putting off going to see him. So it was too late. I never got to say goodbye. I never got to say goodbye. You don't need to, Rebecca. What if you just said, till we meet again instead, huh? What if you chose to get up and to show everyone here what your father taught you? Wouldn't that be the best farewell of all? It's very important now that she refocus and finish her routine well. It appears that she has her composure back. All she has left now is the dismount. And she's done it! Oh, the crowd loves it! There is a courageous young lady! Did I? Yes, great job. Great job. <laughs> great job. <laughs> well, you all still growing a lot. Oh my. We're gonna be keeping track of this for a long time. I hope so. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Pizza. Yes. Why do I always have?
have pimples. Pimples? Pimples. Ugh. Why do I always have pimples? I tried stuff at night. I tried scrubbing. Forget it. I used that stingy liquid stuff. And that prescription product says it could take weeks to work. <sighs> Don't get mad. Get Clearasil. Clearasil cream sucks up oil, then zaps pimples dry. The choice is clear. 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 The choice is clear. For clearer skin, the choice. Christy Thomas here. Welcome to Stony Brook and the Babysitter's Club, the best friends a girl can have. Check out your locker right away because it's full of surprises. Then take a look at ours. We've made some really fun games just for you. Come on, let's go! Hi, I'm Christy Thomas, president of the Babysitter's Club. Welcome to BSC Brain Blitz, the fast and furious game extraordinaire. Click the Let's Go button to get started or click on our pictures to find out more about us. Here are some things you may not know about me. I'm left-handed. That's a southpaw in baseball terms. I had my appendix out when I was 12, and I can touch my nose with my tongue. There, now you know everything. Hey, it's me, Claudia Kishi. Here are my favorite subjects. Art, art, and oh yeah, art. Hi, I'm Marianne Spear. I love living in Stony Brook. But someday, I hope to live in New York City. Hi, I'm Don Schaefer. Most of the year, I live in California with Dad and my brother Jeff, but I spend a lot of vacations visiting my mom and friends in Stony Brook. I guess you could call me a bi-coastal kid. Hey, it's me, Mallory Pike. The world may not know me now, but someday I'm going to be a very famous writer and illustrator of children's books. Let's go. My name is Andy. I play Ashley A. Get a hold of yourself, Ashley A. Daddy always said beauty, style, and attitude would prevail. You just need to find a new click. A better click. Hmm. Let's see what we have to work with. I don't want to live with a bunch of three horns. They're too bot.